Before I turned 30, I'd never had an orgasm, but the last few years have been absolutely banging. But how did you unstopper your orgasmic blockage? Which I hear you cry. Well, first, I had to find out what one actually was, or rather, what one felt like. But I couldn't be sure if what I was feeling was the real thing. You know, the big wobbity wobbity shabbity shabbity hoot wang hoo the badger. So I started doing some research at comedy gigs, on stage dressed as a sperm. We all saw that coming. My fear that my partner wouldn't come because I wasn't coming had come to become such a barrier against me ever coming that I just decided to become come. People told me that having an orgasm felt like eating eight mangoes at once or like a unicorn riding across your entire body as you explode in fireworks of joy. So when my boyfriend asked me what it's felt like in the past when I've had pleasure, I told him, well, you know when you're at the arcade and you've got the fruit machine to one side and Daytona, let's go to the left but you're in the centre on that claw machine and it's trying to pick up one of those slippery Beanie Baby Bears but it's struggling to get a grip on. It's just roaming around in the bear pit, flailing about and you're putting in 20p after 20p after 20p after 20p after 20p after 20p and suddenly it gains a grip and it's holding the slippery Beanie Baby Bear ever so lightly but there's a tension as it rises higher and higher up towards that tiny shaft at the top where it's going to deliver the slippery beanie baby bear right into your open palms. But you're not thinking about that. You're not thinking about anything other than really getting yours. So you're both hyper alert at the same time as being totally at one with the moment. I imagine it much like a blind skier. And just as that tiny slippery beanie baby bear is about to touch your open palms, the whole arcade dematerializes in a burst of sweet, sharp pleasure pain. And you turn over onto your back and you just say, mm. Lovely. And when he heard that description, my boyfriend said to me, I think that's an orgasm. And I said, no, no, that's just something I do on my own in private that doesn't resemble any representation of an orgasm I've ever seen. And he said, still, sounds like an orgasm to me. And I said, no, no, you don't understand. I've told everybody that I know over years that I can't come, including my dad. And he said, still, just let go of that limiting story about yourself and explore and expand on the pleasure you already obviously have. I said, don't try and mansplain my orgasmic blockage to me. I'd be a feminist icon if my Insta stories weren't so sporadic. And all the women I know think I'm really brave for all my honesty about not being able to orgasm. One even cried, which looking back was quite patronizing, but I don't need you coming in here with your big mama telling me that actually I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with my body. There never has been. We all just need a better vocabulary of expressing female pleasure and well done to me for taking the first steps. He said, do you need a little bowl of cereal? I said, yes, please. And although he did mean cereal, not orgasms, I have been having them ever since. Orgasms and cereal. I like them both very much. <laughs>